Hi, everybody. I've been sifting for prosperity. By which I mean shards of prosperity for mystical agriculture. Because today we're going to work on farming. And not just wheat farming. We're going to do some mystical agriculture farming. And first, I want to see if these base crafting seeds will grow more. No, you can't actually plant those at all. So, I'm going to be sifting for a lot of prosperity. Which means I'll probably want to rearrange this so we can sift some sand. But at any rate, I really, really need to get this going because check this out. I have 14 redstone. This thing's been running forever. I've got stacks of silver ore and bone meal and quartz and pretty much everything. But redstone is just really biting me. So my aim is to get some redstone seeds going as quickly as I can. And infusion stone. And then we want these seeds to become better. For redstone seeds, we need tier 3 crafting seeds, and then we'll work on the intermediate mesons. But first, I need to grow some Inferium. I've gotten most of my Inferium out of the mob farm, which has done pretty well so far, but I think I want something a little more renewable and a bit faster. But, while I'm working on that, I can also work on some other kind of farming. Specifically, farming some passive mobs. And this is where that dirt generator comes in handy. <laughs> we'll just extend this dirt out a ways to give these mobs a place to spawn in privacy. <laughs> like so. The mineral torches will keep it well lit so that we don't have hostile mobs spawning. Hi, pig. And when other mobs spawn out there, I'll just bring them back into the pen here with a lead. 
After that, I'll worry about splitting them up. And, uh, ranching them properly. In the meanwhile, we'll grow some more of these. And Prudentium and Intermedium. Now I just need to go pick up four redstone. And our first redstone seeds. And let's put it uh, here. And nine redstone essence. And just in time for me to have enough inferium to do this. And we'll be going around with this a few times. All right. Now I have a stack of redstone to work with. We can work on automating this farm. And I think I want to go back to Steve's carts for this. Then again, Time to do some maintenance on my woodcutter. So I got a few diamonds to repair the cutter with. Not sure exactly how that's done. Just like that, it seems. All right, looks like we have a chicken. We have a few chickens. All right. I know breeding them won't be highly useful now, and I will look out later exactly how to go about breeding the exact chickens I want. But right now I am going to feed them to make sure they don't despawn. Hmm, you can't feed the males. Back off, little piggy. Okay, so I've made a few farm ho uh, hen houses and one hay, hay bale because I'm curious to see whether these things will form a multi-block. I 
I think it just forms six hen houses. So we'll let that do its collecting thing and I will collect some more hay to put in the rest of these. And then we'll see what happens. Really? Wow, these things break easy. Okay, we have our farm area set up. We have a liquid manager, cargo manager, because this uh, farming cart is going to have tanks on it and a hydrator. So the next thing I need to do is make sure that that liquid manager gets fed with uh, water. And I should have some pipe for that. It's getting to be evening though, because so I need to get that stuff out there. Yay, that's done. And pipe. So I'm running this thing off of solar panels, so it's not going to work at night anyway. So I better light this place up. At least for now. Okay. Just put this over here. Uh, along with this. I didn't actually make eight reservoirs, did I? I'm sure I didn't. Okay, and that's on the green side. red side. Okay, and here's our cart. And let's get some seeds to put in it. And a couple of these. All right, 
right, so we have seeds and a few more seeds and a bunch of seeds after that. All right, so we'll get some sleep time and see how that thing goes in the morning. They always go the opposite direction you think they will, you know? Just make sure this is hydrated for the first time around. Wouldn't want these seeds popping out into the void. Okay, this is... why is it doing that? It didn't put any water in. Well, this thing is not being particularly cooperative. And I think I'm going about this the hard way. this thing get back to work in the morning. That poor squid. So anyway, this seems to work just fine at uh, planting, hydrating not so much, and I don't know why, but that's okay. And as soon as I get a bunch more wheat, I will get back to work on these chickens. Oh, looky at the map. I got cows. Pigs. Doesn't look like I have another sheep yet, but more chickens. That's cool. Alright. And those cows will stay around for a while. Okay. I have also decided to farm some sugar canes. And another thing I want to try out real quick is the nesting pen. Use an animal net to capture a chicken. Okay, so animal net, chicken. And there he is in his new home. And chicken drops. We've got feathers and bone meal. And crap. 
So, we've achieved all kinds of farms today. Next episode, I think it's time to think about flight. Till then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day. <laughs>